Hello everyone, today I'm here to do a tag video. Today I'm doing the hashtag I am the reader book tag. So this tag was obviously inspired by the book The Reader by Chasey Chi. Tra I don't know how you pronounce that. I apologize, if I, I apologize if I did. Penguin actually made this tag and invited me to do it. So of course he did it because I love tags and I love anything that has to do with reading at all. So yeah, here we are. If you don't know about the reader, it is all about this world where reading has become virtually like extinct, like it doesn't really exist anymore. And we follow our main character, Sephia, who is on the run with her aunt because her, her dad was brutally killed. And she finds this object her dad left her and it's in the shape of a, you guessed it, book. So she has to learn how to read and how to uncover things and how to really help save things that's all I really know about it but I've heard such amazing things about this book so definitely check it out I do plan to read it soon and do a review video on it so I will do that I will upload that as soon as I can when I actually read it and another bonus for you I will be giving a copy of the reader away this copy right here you see before you you can win so wait around to the end of the video and I will tell you how to win this beautiful book because is it not not stunning like the colors the rays I just it's beautiful so make sure you stay to the end of this video so you could win this awesome book choose one word that describes being a reader and this is probably the hardest question ever because there's so many words the one I could really think of that kind of sums it up in general for me and this might be a cliche but it is magical a reader is magical it means opening a book and being a quickly whisked into that world, into that story, and just being in that story. I mean, that's a magical thing to be like here, but then be in the book that you're so invested, that you pour your heart into that book while you're reading it. That is magical. That's the one word that I picked. I don't know if that's like lame, but I mean, reading to me is magical. Magic in a bottle literally is reading. first book you fell in love with and I think a lot of us are probably going to say Harry Potter yes it's the first series I fell in love with I'm still in love with it I will never fall out of love with Harry Potter we will always have an amazing relationship Harry Potter and I we will we'll stand the test of time that is for sure <laughs> Hardback or paperback? Oh, this is a hard one because they're both good for amazing. They're both good for separate things. You know, I do like hardback because I like the way they look on my shelves better. I love the spines. I love that you almost have a built-in bookmark because I use this jacket sleeve as a bookmark a lot. <laughs> I also like that they kind of like you know they'll stay open at a relatively okay pace. Um, paperbacks are also good because you get you know it does have the floppy factor a lot of them will help stay open more and they're just more convenient and you can kind of like you know bend them a little bit they're much more on the go so I don't know I'm like 50 50 on both I can't choose if I could choose what to have on my shelf at all it would be hardback but if I could choose what to travel with it'd be paperback Decisions, decisions. How has reading shaped your identity? And this is an amazing question because I feel like reading really has shaped myself, you know? I think reading has taught me a lot of things. It's broadened my horizons. It's like made me love. It brought me to YouTube. It's brought me so many things. It shaped who I am and I can't think of like why, what in particular like the reason it has shaped my identity. I don't know. I, I think it makes me more imaginative. It makes me more, you know, helps me to imagine things in my world, imagine things in my life and really just dream. I think reading has helped me with that. I feel like reading has really just helped become, has really helped mold me, made me who I am. Am. So I guess that's how it shaped my identity. I feel like I'm not answering the question, but those are the only things I can think of to say. I hope that's okay. Do you read when you need to be comforted? Anything contemporary. Contemporary is like my security blanket when it comes to reading. If I'm really having a reading slump, I go to contemporary. If I'm really just having a really crummy week or something and I want something light to read, I will go to contemporary. Contemporary is one that will just envelope me into this warm blanket of fuzziness and feelings and happiness and everything magical and just make me happier. So that the, that's the genre. That's not a book, I know. I'm kind of like cheating. But that's the genre I go to when I want to be comforted. Like, you know, a nice warm hug is pretty much what contemporary is to me. How to be 
a reader. I'm pretty sure my parents taught me, you know, mixed with schools. It's, you're talking about like who has taught me how to love reading and stuff. I really find that shaped by my dad and my grandma. My dad loves reading. He loves J.R.R. Tolkien. He loves anything like epic like that, like Terry Brooks. He loves that. So I really think that that he's kind of instilled my love for reading and that as well as my grandmother. I know I, my mom tells me constantly my grandmother loves to read and I feel like I got that like my reading gene or something I guess from those two so I guess they taught me how to love to read but if we're talking about like technicality who taught me how to read my parents and teachers I guess <laughs> your dream reading lounge and this is gonna be a fun one guys brace yourself because I have two that's right two I'm cheating um, I cheat a lot on tags it's a, I'm a bad person <laughs> I want to go with seasonally because I feel like I have different reading lounges when it comes to the season so let's start with fall and winter since they're about to come up to that and since I can't literally wait my fall and winter reading lounge my dream reading lounge if you will would be a nice huge couch that you can just kind of just sink into with and it'd be kind of chilly because I do like reading when it's a little bit chillier, but I have a blanket on me because I love blankets. And there's a fire roaring nearby. Also a cup of hot cocoa or pumpkin, whatever you have you. And reading when it rains. So it's a cold, stormy, rainy night or whatever, and I'm reading. Or snowing. Snowing is also great. So my fall winter reading lounge is just being warm and snuggly by fire and holding like a hot cup or something. And it's either raining or snowing outside. That is my reading place. Now it comes to spring and summer. I love, and I don't ever get to do this because, I don't know, if I had, if, if my dream, my dream would be just reading like right by a huge, huge tree, whether I read reading when I'm sitting on like the actual ground and leaning against the trunk of it, or if I have a nice comfy chair next to the tree, and it's just really feels nice outside and it's blowing the breeze and you can hear like crickets or something. That's just my perfect like spring and summer or even by like a river or even if I read on the beach. Oh my gosh, I love reading on the beach. So yeah, that was a, that was a good reading lounge for you. I hope you enjoyed that journey with me. <laughs> Was it lame? I don't know. You tell me. <laughs> Book changed the way you act or see the world. And I couldn't go with this. I've had these questions before in text and I still just don't know. The one I'm going to say is Wolf by Wolf. This is a historical YA novel and it just made me really see the world and how different it could be if this tragedy in this book would actually happen and actually, you know, progress to. I think that really opened my eyes and made me see the world a little differently and how scary it could be. So I guess that would be my answer. I hope that is an okay answer. The I am the reader book tag. I hope you guys enjoyed it. And if you want to do this tag, feel free to do it. I check every single one of you. I'll link the questions down. I'll leave the questions down below for you and you can check them out. And if you are interested in winning this copy of the reader, I'm about to tell you how. So um, you can win one copy of the reader and the only rules are you have to be subscribed to this channel and you must leave a comment telling me why you love being a reader. This is US only. I am sorry again guys. I do have an international giveaway coming up at the end of this month so yay. Um, but if you want to win a copy of this, those are your only two rules. Just be subscribed to the channel and comment tell me why you love being a reader or just anything about reading in general that you really want to say. And this giveaway will start today and will end next Wednesday. So I'll be picking a winner at random. So I hope you guys entered the giveaway and I hope you enjoyed this tag that I did. And yeah, if you like this video, be sure to give it a thumbs up and be sure to enter this awesome giveaway. I will see you guys in my next video.